The Passover is near, and Jesus shows himself a faithful Jew by coming to Jerusalem for the celebration of the feast. He proves his dedication to the temple by a prophetic gesture of clearing the temple of animals, those selling animals and money changers. These were no doubt legitimate and even necessary activities, but Jesus' actions speak loud and clear. The temple authorities are for the most part corrupt. They are more interested in material prosperity than in making the temple area a holy place. At this point, Jesus' enemies ask for a sign, and he utters the words about destroying the temple. They get caught up in thinking about the physical destruction and rebuilding of the temple and ridicule Jesus. It is no surprise to the readers of John that Jesus is now speaking of another event, his resurrection. One of the accusations that will show up in Jesus' trail is connected with his words about the destruction of the temple. Because of these words, Jesus will be accused of blasphemy. As John reads the scene, Jesus' body is the new temple. This means that after the resurrection, Jesus will fulfill the function of the whole temple and take it far beyond its present function. Jesus is the new temple in which and through which God will be properly honored. Though John does not develop this theme to any large extent, it is clear that John sees Jesus as the fulfillment of God's plan for the temple. The new community that Jesus prepares during this, his lifetime on earth will be the new temple that is truly holy. While members of that community may not always live up to the call to be holy, Jesus himself, dwelling in the community, assures its basic holiness. <laughs>